Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Doing this for <laughs> so, guys, well, this is such a you come to write this good screenplay? Yeah, this really helping well, the family, this so story so goes that my sister in 1991 was a journalist. The, the just she was on the other side of the world, and she was in CBS, the CBS Evening News with Dan Rather. And she got this book that was uh, essentially, you know, they were just looking for publicity for a book about the media. And she said, "Well, we're probably not going to do the book," but she sent it to me. And at the time, Michael and I were fledgling sitcom writers, and we weren't ready to write a, a movie. Yeah, we were just ready to write little half-hour comedies, but we kept it in the back of our mind, and after a few years, we started to write feature films, and we got more confident in our storytelling. We felt, wait a second, maybe we can take this on. Um, and the truth was, we probably couldn't, because our first draft was probably close to 150 pages than the 118 or 20 it should be. But what happened was, we went out with it in about 2000, and everybody loved it, but it was a very hard sell at the time. I don't think the mood of the country was exactly right. And what ended up happening was, people said, it's too expensive to make because of computer-generated images at the time were infinitely more expensive. And so it sort of sat, and we waited, and we kept pushing it and pushing it, and eventually it found its time and its place. And I feel incredibly grateful that that it, it, it is happening now, and that we got Ken Kwapis involved, and that we got the actors that we got involved. It's astonishing for it to go from this thing we're begging people to read, oh, come on, guys, you know, we're making other movies, but we keep going, we have this other script, to something that we're standing on a red carpet talking about, you know, 15 years later. Talk about this very unlikely coalition of people that came together. Well, you have to remember it's the, uh, the film takes place during the Cold War, so you had the Soviets and the United States who weren't interested in talking to each other at all, especially about something as small as an environmental issue. Then you have the fact that you have the oil companies and Greenpeace and the Inupiates who, for all their own reasons, had nothing that they wanted to do with each other. Um, so I mean, they all went into it for their own selfish reasons, And uh, but what was so nice about the story is that I think comes out in the film is that she they put those differences aside, you know, and, and we were able to, to work together, and I think that's one of the beautiful things. She's lost him, but instead of... Just lastly, talk about John and Julie, they are so great in this. I think their career chemistry is... is she threw herself in this. Uh, they just bring people to life, these characters, in a way that I don't think we even ever imagined. Uh, I think you know, Jack and I, we live with these characters in our heads for so long, and we hear it as Way, unfortunately, we hear them with our own voices, and so they mostly sound like New York Jews. Exactly. <laughs> so, so for them to, to really personify these characters and, and, and make them their own, which is really a important thing, is really a treat for us. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much.